Have you ever noticed that sometimes your balloons will be looking nice and shiny, but sometimes they will be looking matte and velvety? When you work with latex balloons, as soon as you inflate them, they will be glossy and shiny. But when they are getting exposed to the air, they oxidize and become matte. In this video, let's talk about what makes your balloons to oxidize faster and what you can do to prevent it. All latex balloons will oxidize over time, but exposure to heat and light will make them oxidize faster. So if you will keep your balloons in a cooler temperature, it will take them longer to oxidize. But if you will take those same balloons out on a light or heat, they will oxidize almost instantly. So if you want to keep your balloons nice and shiny, you have two options here. Option number one is to use any shine products on your balloons. And option number two is to double stuff your balloons inside of the boba balloon or a deco bubble balloon. To show you exactly what I'm talking about, we are going to set up an experiment. Here I have four different clusters of balloons and we're going to test them on different products. The first one over here, I have my balloons double stuffed inside of the boba balloons. These are balloons, just regular, they're single stuff, they don't have any product on it, and uh, we will test them on how long it will take them to oxidize outside. This balloon, so far it is just a regular plain balloon cluster, but what we're going to do, we will apply a shine product on it and we'll see what it's gonna look like compared to the oxidized one. And this one, we will keep inside to show you guys that it stays the same in the room temperature. All right, so let's grab our high shine and take our balloons outside. So here's my sh high shine and a nice fine mist bottle. So let's apply this to our bottom cluster over here. Let's slide it a little lower. All right guys, so let's leave them out here and we will be back in a little bit to check on what it looks like. You guys, it's been 15 minutes, so let's take a look what we have over here. So our double stuffs look precious and gorgeous and shiny. So these are the regular balloons, you guys. You can totally see them oxidize already. So this is a transparent balloon and it looks matte and it looks like velvety and covered. Very, very matte looking balloons. And the balloons with our high shine still look glossy. Although when you are having a high shine or any shines on your balloons, you want to be prepared that they will have a little bit of the oil appearance up close. So, Let's keep them a little bit longer. Actually, a lot longer. Let's check them out in a couple hours later and see how long it will take uh, for these balloons to oxidize and whether or not they will oxidize at all. 15 minutes later, with our inside balloons, they stayed in air condition. As you can see, no changes here at all. All right, guys, this is the end of the experiment. It's been over three hours. Let's take a look at the results. So here we have our double stuff balloons still looking gorgeous. Uh, we have regular balloons stuffed inside of the bobos here. So these cluster of the balloons that have not been uh, put anything on. So they're not double stuffed, they don't have any shine product on. You see guys, they're nice and oxidized. What's, some people like to see oxidized balloons, but keep in mind that when they oxidize, they don't look old matte and pretty like this one. Unless it's like, if it's a light color, beautiful if it's a darker color it will look like you have some kind of residue on your balloon like a dust or like a flower and the tip of the balloon will be very seen which does not look very appealing so keep that in mind um, our bottom balloons have high shine on still looks nice and shiny still pretty oily so also keep that in mind if you are working with a bride for a wedding and applying a lot of the high shine on your balloons you probably don't want a, people in like nice expensive dresses coming too close to the balloons to take pictures because it will be all over the clothing. So also keep that in mind, depending on the area uh, you're setting up and people and the type of event that you are working before applying the high shine. So those are the balloons that we put outside. This balloon sat inside an air conditioner for over three hours. And as you can see, there are no changes been happened to this balloon. So again, let me put them closer, closer 
to my oxidized balloons. So this is what we took out and after 15 minutes, they started looking like this. As you can see, they did not pop or anything because they are well underinflated. If you guys do wanna see the video about us testing the balloons in the heat, make sure you check the video right over here. But you see how different those balloons are. So before we took them outside to oxidize and after basically the first 15 minutes. Now, these balloons have been inflated only for a couple of hours, right? So just keep in mind, if we did inflate them for a couple of days and set them here in a room temperature, they would eventually oxidize as well and would look like this. So keep that in mind when you are preparing your balloons ahead of time, just to keep your balloons in a room temperature, um, but not for it like too long because they will be looking like this. So in general, they last about one or two days in a room temperature to keep that look. If you guys have any questions, let us know in the comment section and I will see you in the next video.